ready session. Not a bad view of where we came from. There's the electrical substation. There's some parking. Turns out that trail that we climbed up to was just a link between the lower parking lot of bar and the upper parking lot of bar, which you can't see, which the edge of that starts the bar trail. We'll give you a little bit more here in the same spot. Looking down on Manitow, Manitow Springs, Colorado. There's your sister. Oh, hi, your sister. Do you want to walk? Do you want to walk? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you want to walk? Oh, look, somebody's smoking up there. You see that cloud of smoke? Somebody's smoking up there. Is that Spirit of Chief Wanna Doobie? Sending up signals. Yeah, I don't care. I wanted to get to the top of the incline to take a break, but I'm up for another break and drinking some more and uh, ditching ditching uh, these layers here, getting down to just some regular shorts. That's what we're up to. We're getting a little bit higher. I would just guess that we're around 7,000 feet now, maybe a thousand feet above where we started, or less, I'd say. There's my little guy. I just put his boots on, so now he looks like a little horse. Little horse dog, he's taking a nap. He's taking a nap. I mean a little rest. They're still smoking up there. Look at them. Continuing in the same location, I just happened to see the Cog Railway tracks there. It'll be the last time I see them until I get to the top, I bet you. Taking another little bitty break. So, so eat your buddies. Get up. Eat your buddies. Come here. Eat your buddies. Eat your buddies, Sosa. Come on, eat your buddies. 645. Quick view. Getting higher. The temperature has been staying about 60 degrees for me. Now it's 58. The Lord God Jesus has made it the best weather of the whole week is this day. And tomorrow is warm, so it'll be perfect for going for the summit. The Lord God Jesus basically has designed this weather for our trip. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God Jesus, for that. Very nice. I mean, uh, two days ago, it hit the record high ever in Colorado. I know in Denver, so I wouldn't doubt here in, around Manitow Springs and Colorado Springs. You can see Colorado Springs beyond. And here's Manitow Springs. Well, the little puppy is taking his nap. Let's go, 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 let's go. Show the people how you go. Go, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 go, yeah, keep going. Go, 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 so, so. let's go, come on. Go, yeah, yeah, good baby, go, 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 that is right here, go, go. Good baby, good baby, good baby, oh good baby. Here's our first marker like this, it says one and a half miles, so I guess that's what we've done since the start. Right, little Sosa? Good, baby. We're at the meetup point. Uh, this is the incline over here. This is the chicken exit or whatever, or halfway point. You can come out and go down. 
But of course that's only for chickens. And that's the way we're going, where this gentleman's coming from. Quick update. Just uh, turned it on for a minute ago. It's 7.23 a.m. And I'm guessing we're at elevation 7,200 feet or halfway up the incline. Sorry. May as well try to document the first moment of real humor came when just a little bit ago some woman said what do you think about those uh, those uh, boots on your dog I said I think they are necessary and she's like what I said I think they are necessary and she's like oh acted like I defended her go so so go okay can lift you you ready Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Two mile marker. Hi, everybody. We're two miles in, so so. So we got about what? I'm thinking nine and a half minus two, seven and a half more miles today, so so. So you, we've already done like 3.3 miles, so so. Huh? Can you believe that we might be a third Hello. done for the day? Hi! Seven forty-four a.m. 59 degrees. Well, these are not bad. Go, Sosa! I like that. I like the way the clouds get on the top of the mountains, the smoke kind of rolls across the top of the mountains. Not top, but... Well, and the, the, those are peaks that we're seeing. This is top of what we're looking at. Oh, by the way, I want to say that this is my third bid. Sorry. Sorry, sir. This is my third bid for the summit. First one unsuccessful, bailed out at Camp Bar. Took the train down from the Mount Pleasant drop-off point, pick-up point. And this is Sosa's first. We, tomorrow, actually, morning, we'll make our bid for the summit. Sosa's first, my third. And it'll be my second successful one. Okay, baby, let's go. We have a sign here. Thank you, Lord, God, Jesus. To the right is the top of the incline. I'm not going there. And uh, to the left is the bar trail. And Pikes Peak Summit. To the right is back down. All right, little sister? And there's a good little doggy. Okay, it's about 8, 10 in the morning. My little sister's down here. I saw that this is a scenic point. And I see the Cog Railway again, way down there yonder. I haven't seen a train on it yet. I think first train runs at 820. So it's not quite yet 820. We're getting, we're almost 820 though. Oh, I, th I think that's the summit folks. Hold on, let me get right there. That's the summit, folks. I don't see any snow. Well, there was a record high like two days ago, so I guess it took care of that. Oh, here I come, Sosa. I, my little dog crying for daddy. He crying for daddy? Oh, crying for you, daddy. You want your daddy to come? Oh, no. oh, you want your daddy? Oh, 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 here come daddy. Here come daddy. Here come daddy. Oh, here come daddy. Oh, here come daddy. Oh, 
It is about 8.30 and uh, a guy just passed me walking just, uh, he had no shirt on and wearing shorts and, and he was carrying uh, like it looked like a bottle of water in his left hand and a bottle of water in his right hand and I asked him how far he's going and he said to the summit and I told him that he's, it's an amazingly small amount of stuff that he's taken to go to the summit. And he asked me how far I was going. I said, I'm going to the summit also, but in a day and a half. I remember that ridge there at the first break spot that I took after the summit. Sorry, I need to see if that's any better. Thank you, Lord God Jesus. A couple of, anyhow, time to get going. All right, another marker. Two and a half miles, it says. And it's uh, 72 degrees, by the way. I'm guessing, guessing the time is about 8.40 a.m., maybe 8.45, don't know. And guessing I'm at elevation 8,300 feet. So this, since this says two and a half miles, and that means 10 miles to the summit, that means seven miles more to our destination for the camp for tonight at the A-frame. Get off my dog fly. Re-report on the temperature, 65 degrees. That was what's been in the sun. No, so so go, 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 so so. Excuse us. Come on, so so go. Come on, go, 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 so so. Go, go, big baby. Go, big baby. There you go, that's right. That's right. Go big baby. Go big baby. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Look how big strong. No, 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 no. Over here. This way. Go, yeah, go. 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 That's really cool. I remember seeing a picture of this. Forget what they call it. Some kind of face though. Someone carved here and someone painted it red. The old man, the old red man on the piece of wood, on the root. Very cool. I thought for sure I'd, I'd missed him. Almost did. This is a quick update for Ryan. About uh, an eight just passed me on the trail, flying by. Came upon me too quick for me to grab a camera. Flying, I said, wow, you're flying. I said, thanks. Let's say this is the beginning of the easy part. I was wondering if it had already started, but now I'm sure it has started. The easy part meaning, I forget how long it is, about three quarters of a mile or a mile. It's pretty much flat in elevation. I thought around 9,300 feet off of Google Earth. Look at this guy. Doesn't take him long to lay it down. Had my head down too much, almost missed this. I'm just gonna guess it's nine o'clock or a little bit after. Maybe 9.15, who knows. Three mile marker again. Three miles, so we're planning to go to the nine and a half mile marker. So we've got six and a half more miles to go. Little Sosie. Six and a half more miles to go here. I don't know how many we went already. I think 4.3. We'll see ya. I never noticed this before. 
I don't think, but right here off the, real close off the trail, there's a creek. I tried to encourage Sosa to drink. He's not gonna do it. Well, it commemorates it. I said six and a half more, we've got to go. That's what it is. This is bar camp three and a half. That's a nice stopping point. Three and a half miles. And to the right is the experimental forest thing, which I've never bothered to look at. So who wants to add another half mile to this long enough trip? All right. That's a good thing they've got the sign there because otherwise you'd be like, oh, what's going on? And I see that there's tracks. They must four wheeler. Just very shortly right after the first creek hookup point, here's another one. A, fur, a guy with a sleeping bag just came by me, a <laughs> much larger sleeping bag than me. And, and, uh, I, I asked him if he camped. Well, I knew he camped. I asked him if he camped at the A-frame or camp bar. It was camp bar. And they were foreigners, uh, although white people. Uh, you know, maybe New Zealand, Switzerland, something like that. Uh, camp bar. That's where they stayed. I, again, they, they did the peak and just came back. I mean, I, I expect they did the peak and are coming back. Uh-huh. I wouldn't think you'd go to Camp Bar or Camp and then just go down. Got a mile marker here. Poles. Three and a half miles, it says. Oh, sorry. There we go. I was like, what? Three and a half mile marker. So three miles to bar camp, then three more miles to the A-frame where we will camp tonight. Then three more miles to Summit. Then a free ride down from somebody that's going to heaven. Time check, 9.40, courtesy of that runner. 9.40 a.m. and temperature looks like 67, 68 degrees, something like that. Our bearing is kind of south, south, southwest. And uh, now is where I'm in the easy, the, the flat part of the trail. This guy just confirmed it. I asked him, he said, yeah, you're definitely in it. Okay. I don't think I was actually in it before when I said I thought I was. So I think we're about 9,300 feet elevation. With about 2.7 miles to go to get to bar camp, we're going to stop and we're going to have our first uh, meal. And I've decided that um, what we're going to have is five total meals. We're going to have three meals today on the trail we're talking about. Of course, we had a meal before we started. We're going to have three meals on the trail today, two meals on the trail tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a much easier day than today. I, I know it is from experience, of course. It's only the last three miles. And this is a total of 13.8 miles we're doing in a day and a half. 10.8 today. And that, my friends, is the scoop. Does that look downhill a little bit? Because it is downhill a little bit. Does that look uphill a little bit? Because I'm pretty sure it is. All right, not really a scenic view, but it's a pretty flat spot. I told my dog, next flat spot, we're having our first meal. And it's, uh, I think I already said, it's 10 a.m. So we started at uh, 4.30, let's just call it. And uh, so we've been at it five and a half hours. Time for a rest.
охоты. Good little dog. You like those horses, don't you? Yeah, you like those horses. Yeah. Oh, by the way, they just told me here in Colorado Springs it hit the high, same day it hit the high in Denver. When it was 105 in Denver, it was 100 degrees here. It's not now. And uh, temperature-wise, let's grab that real quick here. I'm seeing like uh, 68 68 67 something like that sorry cute I think he's so worn out that he won't even get up to eat the bodies right now so I'll hold the bowl down here we're gonna take a rest for a while anyhow might be here 45 minutes or an hour I don't care yeah, you got them. And there's one, two here, Sosa. Yeah. There you go. There it is. These are our PEDs. I got these strawberry banana ones for Sosa because I'm pretty sure he likes that, and he does. Lemon lime. Actually, he likes all these. I haven't, I, he tried that, and, and uh, I expect he would eat that one as well. This one's got caffeine. I don't know if caffeine is good for dogs, so uh, his is not. Energy gel. 100 calories. Update here. Still having lunch. Those are some uh, Mennonites or Amish people, whatever. I said, Lord God, Jesus bless you, and didn't really return it or anything. Maybe I'm the hell or something. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, just kidding. Um, but uh, I told they they're the first ones that um, the two two items of note. I'm gonna cover them first. They're the second news. Um, their plan is not good. They're not gonna make it. I told them they're not gonna make it. We don't need to get into the logistics. I just told them you're not gonna make it. Um, that's with 100% certainty. They, they basically they plan to get to the top of the mountain they've been at this for three hours and and their ride is at the top of the mountain in four hours they're still like two and three quarter miles short of bar camp uh the time that it takes you from the start of bar trail to bar camp or camp bar however you want to say it you can take that amount of time and take that same time plus one hour that's how far it's going to take you to get from camp bar to the summit or so they say and i could believe it uh but the other item of news is uh sosa and i we've got sosa and i we got some uh company a husband and wife named jesse and john and they're going to be staying with us at the a-frame so cool look at this new puppy oh <laughs> oh Look at the little puppy dog. He's getting a little rest in. This is the way easy part. That's like, you know, we're just coming downhill. This is like level. Let's go, big dog. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 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 Here comes daddy. Here comes daddy. Go. Go. He's my little companion. Yes, yes. This is Alvaro. He was in some trouble here, so I'm letting him drink my Gatorade because, uh, you know, Jesus said to. So, Alvaro, tell me what you were doing. You're training for the ascent. That's a half marathon up to the top. Yeah. Tell me your story. So, I started up a chase uh, down by Manitou Springs. I was trying to go all the way to the top, uh, around mile 10. Uh, this is like 40% less oxygen. Um, yeah, so you passed the A-frame by half a mile. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's where I, I'm going tonight. I, I passed. I passed. Uh, uh, I passed the tree line. 
But mm -hmm. as soon as I saw up and I looked at my um, at my map or on my phone, uh -huh. I, I couldn't find anymore. And Pikes Peak was to the left. I was completely lost. You were off the trail. I was off the trail because I was just I was just going into motion. You see how hard it is, people. So yeah, drink was, some more. I was about a, three hours stuck trying to find back the trail. Wow. Ended up by some creek. Came back. Uh, had to drink off the river water a couple of times. Good, uh, good plan. Good, good I, I was, job. I wasn't sure whether I, you know, I could or not, but I was like, you know what? At this point, yeah, of course. Water, so, of course, it's worth it. it. It's it sucked for a bit. It was kind of scary. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I found back the train. I'm glad I found you. So, uh, you know, have have a, have a few more drinks there. Thank you. And and then maybe you can uh, catch a few more drinks off of some other people. Okay, one more, please. Thank you. That ma man is named Alvaro that is running away there. I just led him to Jesus. He just accepted Jesus. He was in bad shape. Uh, he gave his testimony. Some of it you saw. Mile well, marker, four and a half miles. Right, Sosa? This is Pike Peak Summit. 7.8 miles, top of incline, two and a half back. So, seven minus three is 4.8. We have 4.8 more to go to our stop tonight, so it's a five mile marker. Camp bars in a mile and a half. Then we're gonna have, then we're gonna eat again and drink and be merry, so it's a The runners. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Super yeah. cute. Hi. Yeah, people like to people like nice. to visit with you. A lot of people have said he's the best looking hiker they've ever seen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Must be to you, Dad. yeah. <laughs> You're a good dog, sister. A good one. Okay, you too, bye bye. In shape couple. A guy just said it's 12:30 p.m. We've got like 1.3 miles to bar camp. I figure. 12:30 p.m. 1.3 to go to bar camp. We're at the same spot where I said it was 12:30. Dog's taking a break here, and I am going to take weight out of both sides of his pack and put it back on me. Hi. All these running people, they gotta be living in Colorado. It says, Bar Trail Elevation 9800. Sweet. This camp bar is only 300 feet vertically more up. Bar Camp, half a mile. Pikes Peak Summit, six and a half. Manitow Springs, back six and a half. Nice. So we're now over halfway toward the summit, so, so We've only got three and a half more miles today, Sosa. So. Look at him. I'll let him go. Come on, Sosa. Go. Go. I mean, I mean, I let him go of all, all the weight. Go, Sosa. Go, Sosa. Go. 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 Ah, oh, last time check, I thought someone told me it was, I don't know, 1.30 or something. I can't remember. We'll find out at bar camp. We'll take our clock out and look. Can't swear to it. But I think this is the trail that peels off and goes to the uh, Cog Railway, <clears throat> what they call a Mountain View pickup drop-off point or whatever. This again looks like a trail going out to the side. By the way, the Hottest Buns Award just passed me on a bicycle. Probably eight. This might be the the turnaround point here or whatever, but I know I know that if it is, there's a sign. It's 
right up here and I thought it was like as you're turning back this way. I don't see it yet. I guess I'm on it. So that's the third little trail off to the side. Go, Sosa. Go. Go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Go. Go. Sosa, go. 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 No. There you go, hand to lead. Okay. Somebody passed us with dogs. Good baby. Oh, good baby. Yeah, you want to drink more water? Okay, good. Good idea. You can sneak by on the left. He's not aggressive or anything. Huh? Where are you all going? Camp bar or A-frame or what? Yeah, bar camp. Oh yeah, we're going to A-frame camp tonight. You'll probably pass us tomorrow morning. Pretty much everybody does. Okay, I'm walking backward for a second because I was entangled in conversation. Now here's where you go. That's where Chief and I went. Here's the sign the other way. Same thing pretty much. We were right coming up on Camp Bar immediately. And I'm thinking it's about 1.50, 2 o'clock, something like that. Now they got me confused. This says six miles. I thought we were right on top of our camp. There we are. I see the sign right up here. Come on, Sosa. Good doggy. Good doggy. Go, Sosa. Go. 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 Right over here, baby. Snail pacing it. I sprained my left ankle twice. I think both times I was filming. I wasn't looking and stepped on something. I know that's what happened last time. This is Camp Bar, a little Sosa. Welcome. Thank you. Water stream. Again. Didn't notice that before. Necessary room out back. Okay. okay. 10,200 feet. So we got only 1,700 more vertical feet to go in three miles. For those who want to see inside, bar camp real quick. Sosa, come daddy. Come here Sosa. Come on. 2.15 a, uh, p.m. was our bar camp arrival time. Not very great. But we'll survive. 
So this is my new buddy Andrew. We're going on to the A-frame. We're gonna we're gonna camp it up there tonight. And if you didn't catch on, we're leaving Bar Trail right now. It's what time? Time on deck is 15 p.m. 3:11 p.m. Here we go. Bottomless pit where I read about the dude back in wherever it was, the 80s or 90s, or whenever it drove off his uh, pickup on purpose off into the bottomless pit to commit suicide. Another sign immediately right after leaving. Timberline Shelter 3, Pikes Peak Summit 6, like we know. Six and a half mile marker. So we've traveled maybe 0.4 of a mile since bar camp, something like that. Because I think there was the I think the six marker was still a bit before I think a tenth of a mile. That's what I guess. No, it's hard to say. We're not All right, we've got a sign. Bar trail to the left. Onward to Pikes Peak Summit, or that both is to the Pikes Peak Summit. Bottomless Pit Trail, which I've never gone and I'm not planning to go. It's 2.4 miles that way. That would be 4.8 miles round track just to see this bottomless pit that this guy drove his truck off into. Pikes Peak Summit, four point, what do you got there? Three or eight? Eight? I see eight. I see eight. Okay. What time is it? Time on deck is 16.10, 4.10 p.m. 4.10 p.m. Onward, Christian soldiers. Working his little hat off, his little hat falling off. Get that back on there. Good dog. 1624, 6:24 p.m. 6:24 p.m. We are almost to the A-frame. I know that because I see the tree line petering out, and after that, I start to feel and see the familiarity of the trail. We're really almost there. So Sosa and I have done almost 10.8 miles today. Just only three to go tomorrow. That'll be a piece of cake compared. Is that the uh, Garden of the Gods down there? I believe that is the Garden of the Gods right down there. This is awesome. No, it's, at least it's a similar rock formation. And sure enough, you can see some clouds that were higher than. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be Garden of the Gods right there. Garden of the Cops. Garden Where, of the cops. Where's the Where's those uh, clouds? Off the other side of those mountains. Might be an optical illusion with the uh, curve of the earth, but could be. Sure, it looks like we're at the same height as they are. All right, let's shut it down. Selfie moment. Yeah, crouch down, selfie. <sighs> this is my buddy Andrew. Of course, this is me, Mark Kilgore. So, this is behind us over there taking a break. We thought this would be like good time for what do they call selfie or whatever, you know these newfangled children's kids these days <laughs> yeah okay see this broken over tree something went off in my brain that says when you uh, pass by the tree that's over the path you're almost to the a-frame and I sure do expect that based on we look like tree line be dying out soon timberline shelter we're here let's go walk up on it There it is, folks. I'm gonna turn off camera for now and say battery's a great uh, stream down there and I see the blue flowers I was talking about that are so beautiful, see them? By the way, we've arrived at the A-frame here at uh, like 6.40 p.m. We started hiking at 4.30. That's 14 hours and 10 minutes later. Um, Friend is going to set up his tent. He just wants to do it since he brought it.
The next morning, Andrew camped over there somewhere. Make it your son. That's why they call Whistle Pig. Hi, baby. So docking that, we took off at 7.20 this morning and it is uh, about 55 degrees and I've gone down to shorts and a t-shirt. It's extremely uh, favorable weather. See ya. I thought this would have been more of a steep drop off around here but here is the monument to a great lady. Sad story. Right, Sosa? We're taking our first break here at this point. Time is 8.30 a.m. at this first break spot. That's the update. I guess that it's, uh, we stopped at 8.30. I'm gonna guess that this is now 8.50. Put the dog's back boots on. After checking with his feet. It's 9.53 a.m. and we're taking our second break. Down there, there's a clearing, and I believe that's Bar Camp. And that's that peak. Doing fine, thanks. Look at that big doggy, so strong. So big and strong. Lay down. You wanna lay down? I don't think you wanna see this. Cirque, 1500 feet deep. This is my favorite view on the thing. You gotta be careful. No, no, go back. Go back, so so go back, go. No. Good dog. Okay, here comes Daddy. Here comes Daddy. Good job. By the way, update at the Cirque. It's 10:29. Call it 10:30 a.m. I'm thinking about a 1.3 miles to go. My guess. Uh, just to prove it, I got I'll never ever do anything like that again. Look at my little baby. Oh my little baby. Me and baby. My baby Susu? Yeah, you my baby. Just real quick, since it's playing on my mind, 
and I uh, need to get it so this is part of the documentary. Here's how the Pikes Peak climb to the summit finished. I been doing the 16 golden stairs. I was being very careful never missing the trail and then somewhere psh, I was off the 16 stairs. The next thing I knew I was facing uh, small to medium sized boulders and I looked to the left and there was the people on the 16 golden stairs and I evaluated how much work it would try be to try to get back to the stairs and I thought it's too much work to try to get back to the stairs and then finish on the stairs so I thought we'll just keep going over these small to medium boulders so I was lifting Sosa from boulder to boulder and wouldn't let him walk anywhere because I wasn't going to take a chance that he could step in a, a crevice and break his leg so I was lifting Sosa from boulder to boulder and and uh, after each one I'd, I'd stop and bend over and breathe a little and then I lifted him over one more and then I bent over and I just stayed bent over and then I said I need help I need help and a man came and he lifted Sosa from rock to rock because when he came up I said I've been lifting my dog from rock to rock. I can't do it anymore. I literally felt like I could not lift my dog to one more rock. I was that much at the end of myself. And I told myself so many times that I will never do this again. And the, this is such a dumb idea. And why would anyone ever put themselves uh, wantonly, you know, by their own decision you know, in this situation where they had to go through the crucible this hard. Uh, and especially, I, I promise Sosa, I said, I promise you Sosa, I'll never do anything like this to you again. I promise you Sosa, I'm so sorry. Well, anyhow, that's how we finished. And that's why we didn't uh, catch the final sign at the summit, is because we didn't walk by it. We ended by the, an alternative method. <laughs>